I'm Adil Kumar, sharing with you a very interesting question on trigonometric ratios. The question is, at which of the following value of x will f of x equals to tan x have a point of inflection? So we are given four choices here. Now let's understand what is point of inflection. Uh, let me write down that first. So point of inflection, let me call this as in short point of inflection, right? So I'm writing this as POI, point of inflection. So point of inflection is change of concavity. So that is what it is. So you can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So here is a basic solution here. So what I do here is I'll kind of sketch the uh, the function itself, which is tan x. So tan x, as you know, has uh, okay. So let's say these are the vertical asymptotes. Okay. Uh, let me write down what I'm trying to do here. What is tan x equals to? Let's write here. Tan x is sin x over cos x. Now, sin x, sin x over cos x. Okay, let's sketch these two functions also. Right. So, sin x is kind of like this. Right, this is sine. And cos x is if you use this as your parameters okay so the so cos x will be kind of uh, like this is that okay so what do you notice here is that cos x which is in the denominator is 0 for pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 right so pi apart right so this is this is pi Okay, so so since denominator is zero, we get vertical asymptotes. So we get vertical asymptotes at pi by two, three pi by two, that one, three pi by two. Also minus pi by two. So so the function, if you do this ratio, is kind of like this, tan x. Most of you know, but at this point the concavity changes you see it is concave down kind of like this and this is concave up do you see that concave up so the concavity changes so we do have a point of inflection at zero but zero is not a choice here do you see that zero is not a choice here correct so the next now this function repeats right so so the wave the tan function will be kind of like this kind of like this the question is to find this point of inflection now this one happens to be it has an interval of pi right so this happens to be at pi correct so that is your answer so that is a simple way of getting to find the solution the complicated way, of course, is, is calculus. For such examples, it's like using a cannon. Now, you could find the second derivative. Let me write f double dash x. So you can find the second derivative, and then analyzing that, you can find concavity, right? So we'll leave it for calculus. So we'll do this later in one of the videos. I'm providing you a link with but if you have a multiple choice question like this uh, you could think in terms of the graph of tan even if this is a question in calculus for a multiple choice question time period for tan is pi 0 pi it repeats correct and the first one is at 0 then the next one will be at pi right then other will be at 2 pi so that really helps you to get the answer I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that, that you appreciate it. 
this is a very important question from uh, many competitive exams test point of view. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and post questions. Thank you and all the best.